So these students had studied all summer and all year and all their lives and had been in school together for years because you didn't really transfer out of this school. You only transferred in because it was the top magnet school to get you into the high schools that were best in our area. And these kids, this would all have been training for their whole life, and I show up and I have three months to hopefully do as well as they're going to do after skipping a grade and moving from a totally different country. So I studied the best I could. We all took the exam in January. You didn't get the test results back until May or June. So I spent the rest of the year trying to learn how to understand um, the Jamaican Patois and Jamaican accents and trying to just keep studying the things we were learning in hopes that I had passed. The common entrance test results finally, or the common entrance examination results finally arrived. And this is all the teachers have been preparing their students for from kindergarten through sixth grade. And so the teacher, our teacher, comes into the classroom and she is giddy and tense and excited as the students are because she's been training these kids for years. And I'd never seen anything like this before, but she pulls, she opens it up, scanned the list quickly because she wanted to see which students had passed for the two best schools in our area, which were the girls was Hampton School and for the boys was Monroe College. Both were junior high, high schools, secondary schools. And she opens the letter and she scans the list of names quickly and she goes, all the girls except Kamali have passed for Hampton and all the boys passed for Monroe. And she's like giddy, excited, shaking, screaming. And immediately all the students are the same way. You can imagine a classroom full of 10 and 11 year olds, shrieking, giddy, happy, ecstatic, so happy, except for one girl who didn't pass with a high enough score to be able to go to the best school. She passed for a school and it was the second best school, but it wasn't the best school. And everyone in the room was ecstatic except this one girl. And I'm sitting there as a student who really has no idea what all this means, but thanking God that I passed because now I'm seeing what it would have been like to not pass. And I look back at that as an adult, and I think to myself, what an incredible amount of pressure to put on kids. And I think a few years later they discontinued doing it. I know the older of my two brothers took the common entrance examination, and I suspect that the younger of my two brothers, by the time he came up, they weren't doing it anymore. They, done, they were doing some other system. But, and probably it's because they realized the kind of pressure it was under. But I look back at that, and I was only... I'd only been on the island for three years, three, three months at that point when I took that test. And I just, when I realize how many years I had migraines and how much I suffered from anxiety as a teen, and then see the kind of pressure that that kind of an academic system put on me, which my parents could really help very little with. They just had to trust to the teachers who knew what they were doing to make sure that I was getting what I needed. But wow, that's just so much to ask of a 10 or 11 year old.